Ladies and gentlemen, we're going to talk about various kind of um, issues that are related to the ongoing crisis of COVID-19. So stick around for the report from Tiger Mountain. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I want to talk about three issues today uh, on the report from Tiger Mountain in relation to the COVID-19 crisis. Uh, one is, uh, it's very interesting the way um, this crisis, I've long suspected this is some kind of New World Order 1984 kind of agenda that's being played out. And one of the things that really makes me think that is what I call the um, microbidient psyop. Um, the way we're all being taught to kind of stand in certain places. Whenever we go somewhere now, there's a special spot. We have to stand 1.5 metres away from everybody. And there are little marks on the ground. Stand here and stand there and exit through this part of the shop and exit through that. And this is all um, what I believe is a micro-obedient psyop. It's basically slowly introducing the hard boot of totalitarianism but in a in a kind of almost oh, this is a kind of microaggression kind of way i don't know you could even borrow that phrase maybe but it's it's like you know making us obey almost small and pointless um uh like kind of totalitarian instructions so that when the really big ones come in we're already in a kind of totalitarian state totalitarian state of mind so i believe that is sort of going on at the moment and i think we need to be aware of it obviously i mean i don't know maybe um, some of it is necessary at the moment, so um, uh, I guess uh, maybe we have to go along with some of it, but we should still be aware that this, I believe, is a kind of micro-obedience kind of psyop. And also an interesting thing too, in relation to um, the riots in relation to Black Lives Matters, were they actually the thing that created the second spike? Uh, obviously the people who were looking after the hotels in quarantine, they went home to their housing commission flats, and then they've spread COVID there, and those uh, housing commission flats are now in lockdown. Um, but also there was the Black Lives Matter protests that happened two or three weeks ago in Melbourne. Uh, and I really think there were some cases there. I do think media, is covering that up. I do think the Black Lives Matter protests, and not only in Australia, around the world, have been used to create second spike. Obviously, there's a, a huge second spike going on in America. And, um, you know, obviously that was related to the riots in relation to Black Lives Matter. And, you know, the lying press in America, there's an article by CNN, you can't believe it. It, it actually said that the riots made COVID go down. I don't know how they reasoned that. And maybe they're going for herd immunity, you know, with is that, is that the argument? But the lying in the media in relation to all this is extraordinary. And people wonder why they don't trust mainstream media, why half people don't want vaccines, why half people don't want to have a test, because no one trusts authorities in relation to this topic anymore, because it's so much bullshit. But I did want to mention something else. Now, that's people with underlying conditions. Um, you know, one of the reasons we have locked down, and one of the reasons Australians have taken such a hit this year in relation to the economy and stuff, because we do want to take care of people who have underlying conditions for which this virus is particularly threatening. And I think that's a good thing. I think Australians do have empathy and, you know, are caring of old people like our, our parents and also people we might know who have underlying conditions. So, you know, that is one thing, you know, that's why we have locked down that, you know, uh, and, you know, Donald Trump has shown we can lock down and our economies can come back. OK, and we've got to solve this problem in Victoria and we do have to take care of people with underlying conditions and, you know, people who are older, like our parents and our grandparents. So it's very important, even though I might believe conspiracy theories and stuff, we must do everything we can to protect, um, you know, the vulnerable uh, Australian citizens who have great value to us. So that's what I wanted to say today on the report from Tiger Mountain. Thanks for listening.